We wanted to take just a couple of minutes to walk you through how easy it is to set up a small world for people given your demo account, your trial account capability. When you log into uh, your Alpha website and you get to the Alpha Center, you see the product you have access to. One of them is the small world trial account setup system. So it'll show you how many trial accounts you have available left to set up. You get to name the small world. So you want to think about this. Remember, you want to talk to people in advance, understand how they plan on using the small world, and even talk to them about what they want the name of that small world to be. That way, when you set it up, it's appropriate, but it also um, builds value in, and establishes you as credible in helping them get this trial going. And you want to put in their name, first and last name, of the person you're going to give that trial to, their email address, which is important because the system will send them a welcome to that email address. You're also going to create their username and their password. This is the username and password that's going to be used for the account administrator. Once you create that, it's going to adjust the amount of trials you have left and send them a welcome email. When they open that email, it's going to give them their very private link, the private link to their uh, small world, as well as some, some simple instructions on what, what's going on and what to do. When they click on that small world link, it's going to take them to the page where they can actually create a member account, just like they do it on a normal social network. You know, you create a username, password, uh, check the box that you're not a robot. But once they create that and log in, um, you can go click on profile, set up your profile, put some basic information about yourself in there. Um, we suggest that you um, create the habit of people going into their profile and adding a picture. That way you make their profile account much more personal. When you click on that profile picture, it's going to allow you to search your hard drive for the photo that you want to use. When you select it and hit upload, it's going to upload that photo to your profile. Voila. And then you are all good to go when you hit save. So now when you are all set to leave your very first personalized message with the picture. Hello, my small world. That's how easy the process is.